you're like Han Solo. Chicks dig you. Whereas me, they're like, oh, he's probably just pretending to be nice because, you know, where people don't always believe me when I'm nice. But talk when about Han's your a- fucking Will of the Foe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's talk about uh, Willem Dafoe. You're right. I shouldn't talk about Hamza so much. It makes him feel weird. <laughs> Willem <laughs> Dafoe plays Hamza Aziz. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was good. Yeah. Good yeah. But uh, Willem Dafoe is the cure for cancer. What? In Just new, him? In, and he has developed revolutionary surgery in order to... His body is literally the cancer antibody. Just his body? Just his physical body? How do you, how do you get the Dafoe that you need to, to get rid of your tumors and stuff? I'm glad you asked. Say it's penis. Huh? I bet you're going to say his penis. Not quite. You're in the right ballpark. In order for... In, in, order, in order for Willem Dafoe to cure cancer, uh-huh. the patient has to pull down their trousers and pants. Uh-huh. He has to grab the end of their penis and pull it open and climb inside it. <laughs> All the it while, open. yeah, he has to stick his head in and go... <laughs> like that and crawl into their penis and come out of their arsehole whoa and, that's for women and you know how don't worry we're getting there and okay. you know how like when you like put a pipe cleaner in a pipe and it just kind of bungs everything out Heart, yeah. like he comes out Willem Dafoe comes out of their anus covered in cancer and then he just shakes... It's like the Green Mile. It's like he, he's, it's kind of like the Green Mile. He is kind of like the Green Mile. And he shakes it all off like a wet dog. And it just hits the walls and everything. And they like <laughs> they scrape it off, put it in a bucket, and put it in a big... Like, you know the big ghost prison in Ghostbusters? Oh, yeah, the containment center. Yeah, yeah, that, but for cancer. And they put it all in there. And Willem Dafoe has like a, like a floating cancer friend that eats everything. Like a big tumor. That's his slimer. Um, he eats everything. So he crawls into penises, comes out the ass, covered in cancer, shakes it off. They put it in a ghost trap prison for cancer. Um, he is a world-renowned and famous doctor. Now, I know Hamza said, what if you're a woman? That, in the movie, is never addressed. I figured that was the easiest way to get around but, it. Well, but women have pee holes too. You could just go in. I mean, if their their holes aren't that much smaller than a man's pee holes, I mean, any yeah, you can uh, fit in a man's pee hole. You could find it has it has to go through the penis. They actually ask him. They say, "Can you just go in through anywhere, like the ear or the mouth?" And he goes, "No, it has to be through the penis." <laughs> I'm gonna crawl. I'm gonna. Oh, I split the penis through the little bit at the top. And I go into the central dorsal shaft and crawl up through the tubes. I haven't done the science. I will admit that. I hate to, to upsurp your uh, William well Willem Dafoe impersonation, but I'm picturing him with a big with that big smile. You know, he has that like um I hate to use the term, but shit-eating grin sometimes. Yeah. Oh, he's very yeah. proud of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm picturing I mean, him on the talk show be like, now. Nah. It has to be through the penis. His, his, <laughs> yeah, he, he would be pleased. The guy's the cure for cancer. He's like right. He's, he's a doctor. He's thrilled. He even has one of those like the big circular things around his forehead that doctors have, um, <laughs> and a and a lab coat so everyone knows it's legit. And and anymore. he well he's got one, and and he's like I I crawl up into the penis and then I curl up into a little ball. And I just spin around like a hedgehog and then stick my fingers through the rectum and the anus and pull it open and I fall out covered in black oily cancer and I shake it off like a dog. And then they put it in a big tank. Like the prison in Ghostbusters. <laughs> Did they use like a trap from Ghostbusters or just a bucket? Uh, just a bucket and they just dump it in a, a it's essentially a bigger bucket with a lid. <laughs> and, it's got... and some of the cancer is alive and is like a slimy purple oh, ghost. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, this is like, I'm trying to go purple. for, I'm trying to go for medical authenticity. So. <sighs> 
So the cancer is screaming. Like, it hits the walls and it's just going, Oh, 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 <laughs> like that, and he goes in, and then Willem Dafoe, like, claps his hands together, like, dusting them off, and says, Another job well done! For cancer! Like that. And, but, there is an element of conflict. It's not just two hours of Willem Dafoe crawling into penises and coming out of a- Yeah, I'd expect that's only the first hour. <laughs> it's only the- <laughs> Well, hour 15 minutes. Okay. There is an element of tension, because he has a rival- which is the chief of police, which is played by Brendan Fraser. <laughs> he's such a bland actor. You always choose him, and he's he's he literally has no personality to be found. Oh, please. I like him in the Mummy. He's fine. He's bland. He's just a Nathan E. Oh, Drake I mean, type mummy guy. I liked. All right then. All right. He's all right. Then. All right. Yeah. Fine. Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, good. I've been thinking about Weird Al. Okay, so Al Yankovic is the, ch the corrupt chief of police who <laughs> has been, for years, he has been waiting to get Willem Dafoe for this. And he says that. He says, I'm going to get... I can't do his voice. Um, <laughs> You're I'm, doing it fine. I, I'm going to get that Willem Dafoe for this. I think that's what Weird Al sounds like. I'm going to put him in the jail. So he's really pissed off. What is he getting him for? What did Willem Dafoe, what crime did he commit? He's he curing cancer. He committed the crime of making Weird Al jealous. <laughs> so he's a very corrupt cop. He's um... Oh yeah, because for years, um, Weird Al was the cure for whooping cough. And what? of course... How did he do that? How did he cure a whooping, whooping cough? He sucked it out of their penis. <laughs> Anyway. Oh boy. Anyway, right? A yeah. sick little boy comes in. Right? I don't know who mm -hmm. boy actors are anymore. Haley Joel mm. Osment is probably grown up, and he. Yeah, he's like 19 yeah. now. Okay, well, Nicolas Cage um, <laughs> plays this eight year old boy who has, like, cancer of the face. Okay, face cancer. Yeah, and. Willem Dafoe is like, well, I gotta save this kid. But then <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic turns up and says, I don't think you'll be doing that. Because you see, if you touch that eight-year-old boy's penis, that, my friend, is pedophilia. And I'll arrest you in the name of the law, sonny Jim, you prick. Wow, he's got a point. That's so, a, that is an interesting twist. So the problem is, is Willem Dafoe is faced with a dilemma. Mm. Either he cures the boy of cancer and goes to jail for being a dirty boy, or he lets the boy die and walks free so he can keep curing the world. And he says, I'm faced with a moral dilemma here. <laughs> he says that to his... <laughs> he says that to his friend, who is Best. played by Ryan Daniels. Who's Ryan Daniels? Or oh, whoever it was who played the Green Lantern. Oh, Ryan Reynolds, yeah. Ryan Reynolds. What, their friends? <laughs> How would they even, they would, he's, wow, okay, yeah, yeah can, please continue. He's his friend. <laughs> How would they ever meet, and what would they like about each other? Well, he's not, it's not Ryan Reynolds, the actor, he's oh, playing, okay. he's, just play sake, he's playing Dracula. Acting. Okay. <laughs> he's Dracula? Ryan Reynolds is Willem Dafoe's friend, Dracula. Dracula, la la. The right? vampire, the the famous the Vlad the Impaler, the yeah, that Dracula. No. <laughs> yes. The, yes. Okay. And so he says, "Hey, oh Dracula, <laughs> I'm in a moral dilemma here. I gotta cure this kid." But <laughs> he's sounding like the dog from Top Jack. <laughs> he sounds good. Yeah. Hey, don't you wake up, my boy. <laughs> you keep chasing that fucking mouse around here. I'll cut your fucking throat out. Tom, you dirty boy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to marry him if I do this pedophilia and I can cure the world. And the movie is a heartwarming tale of one man's decision whether to sacrifice his freedom for the life of an eight-year-old Nicolas Cage or go to jail for pedophilia. 
Um, because we are tell the anchor because jazz. Just point of clarification: Have they uh, euthanized? No, that's not the right word. That's when you kill people. Um, have they c- caused Nicolas Cage to look like a youth via like the little man technology? Uh, uh, yeah, Mark. yeah. He's okay. wearing he's wearing a um, a t shirt that says Cowabunga on it. <laughs> So they haven't used uh, sophisticated CGI to make his face on like eight-year-old's body. Oh, well, just uh, uh, You'd I, want to I be I can't afford man is- CGI. Maybe I'll cut out like a kid's... I'll draw a kid's face on cardboard and <laughs> put string around it and we'll, that could be a mask. And pe- people won't know the difference. Uh, <laughs> that might work, yeah. The original Star Wars was all done with animatronics. So mm, true, uh, puppets and stuff. Cardboard masks should work. So he's the kid. Yeah, people don't care about the special effects when they're listening to the story. <laughs> right, they're they're totally enraptured with the, yeah. with the tale. So, yeah. you know, I don't want to spoil what happens because people will have to go to the movie theatre to see the ultimate decision Willem Dafoe makes and whether he takes the final sacrifice. Uh, and I call this movie... Are you still there? I'm t- Oh, yeah, I'm listening. Skype I'm very... saying there are problems with the call. No, I'm totally here. Okay, well, I call this movie... Patch Adams 2, is it pedophilia or not? <laughs> the Patch Adams fan base, which is millions <laughs> wide, uh, when they just go to Blockbuster and like, oh, I'm just going to rent something, I don't know, Patch Adams, I guess. Patch Adams 2, sure. And they get that, as opposed to uh, <laughs> a rambunctious, lovable scamp of a doctor who just wants to make them laugh. They get Willem Dafoe covered in cancer? covered in oily moaning cancer yeah wow that is a true true nightmare world that's not too bad um you know there are these doctors called um pediatricians and they are allowed to touch uh, a boy's penis if it is to cure him from from cancer so there's not (laughs) as long as you're not doing it for sexual reasons near a doctor you know, if you're an oncologist, which is a cancer doctor, and a, 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 a I almost said pedophile, um, but <laughs> I can't even think of the word. I just said it. But what's the word for pediatrician? Me? That's it. Thank you. I kept thinking of a podiatrist or a foot doctor. Anyway, so there is a w- easy way around this moral dilemma. He just has no, to uh, say, "Oh, I'm a doctor. I'm yeah, going to yeah. cure him of cancer." No, but di- I didn't mention though, did I? No. This movie is set in the year 2013. Oh, things have changed. A, dy- a dystopian future where things have changed. <laughs> Literally everything is pretty much the same, except for anything that gets in the way of my story. <laughs> right, right. So in I... this, I mean, this is set in the fictional city of Old York, because it's in the future. Um, and in Old York, the rule is, if you touch a boy's penis for any reason... <laughs> You're going to jail. Yeah, even if it's caught on like a barbed wire fence or it's in a dog's <laughs> mouth, if you, not only will the dog go to jail for pedophilia for biting the boy's penis, you will go to jail for putting your hand near the penis to get the jaws off. Wow, that's a that's an interesting. Um, it's a problem. chilling. It's a chilling vision of where mankind's headed. Sure, I'd assume there was some big problem where the president's penis was. Um, touched or something like that so he passed a new law or there was there must have been some scandal to bring upon that um that oh, no, no, that's, that's going to be explained in the prequel novelization oh only only in book form yeah i mean if you want the full story of the patch adams 2 mythos <laughs> you have to get the novel the associated comic books and each action figure is going to come with a battle card that explains a bit of the backstory of that character so whether it's Willem, Dr. <laughs> Dr. William Patch Adams Defoe, Weird Al Yanko Vic. I was trying to come up with a different name and I just said his name. Um, or, Drac- <laughs> or, or, or Dracula. Um, you find out more about them. Like if you don't get if you don't get the Dracula Ryan Reynolds action card, action figure with the battle card, you, uh. you won't know why Dracula is in Old York. That's exciting. I want to know the whole story, and I can't help but want to guess as to how it turns out. Yeah. I can't. I can't help but imagine that um, what I would do if I were um, Patch Adams is I would probably Patch Adams the Two. His, no, I'm sorry. The character's uh, name is Patch Adams Two. If I were Patch Adams Two, 
I would probably release all the cancer, like uh, how um, what's his name, the red-haired guy who's a good character actor in Ghostbusters. His name is like Dick something, Dick Dix maybe. Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Dick, Dick Van Dyke. Dick Dick's Van Dyke from Ghostbusters Dick One. Dick. How he just opens the trap and lets all the ghosts out, and then the oh oh it's magic. Oh, oh, it's magic that, someplace. That could uh, actually um, be the, in the sequel, Patch Adams 2 2. <laughs> Escape from Old York, brackets cancer. <laughs> That's what I would imagine would happen. I yeah. love a big disaster problem where all the things get let loose. That's my favorite part of Ghostbusters. That's my favorite part Patch of Cabin Adams in the Woods, too. Patch Adams. Think too. Patchier. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be a big franchise, I think. The whole Patch Adams 2. I mean, this is going to be my legacy. Um, there's talk, I'm talking with Games Workshop about possibly doing a tabletop battle uh, game based on it, like, you know the forces what, like, of Patch yeah, like the, the, the forces of Patch Adam 2 versus the forces of cancer I'd buy it I'd and buy maybe it. you get a third faction in there for Weird Al Yankovic's police force <laughs> who wear masks really... they wear gas masks with pig snouts and pig ears which is a satirical statement on the um, brutal police force of America. Oh, the cops. Based yes. on Animal Farm. Yeah. yeah they're they're actually called the Animal Farm Cops. 